Hi, this is the implementation of I2C protocol. Here we're gonna interface the external problem with big microcontroller. Let's see how we did it. This is the logic analyze I use it. It is a 24 microhertz, eight channel chip, 50 bucks, Chinese device. We connect channel one and two into RC3 and RC4 and the ground. Here is the big 18F4520 and we are ready to go. First, let's see the page I've published for you. Interfacing external problem with big microcontroller. I to see episode one here. You'll find a lot of information that will help you to understand I to see and improve your skill in microcontroller. Now open micro C powerful pick. Here is the project I to see simple echo.c. You can download it from my web page. Link in the video description below. And let's comment all the code. Fine. This is for the begin purpose. We call it back from the method. Now suppose the master wants to send a data to slave. Master transmits transmitter sends a start condition and address the slave receiver. Master transmitter sends data to the slave receiver. And this is the address of the EEPROM. Master transmit sends a byte to be reaching to the EEPROM X, A, and here you have it. Good. Master transmitter transmit the trans transfer with this top condition right here and point one second delay below frames this chunk of code is when the master wants to read receive data from a slave again master receiver sends a start condition master receivers sends a slave address again read mode master receive sends the requested register to read to the slave transmitter this is the repeated start condition. It differs from the start condition because it happens before the start condition when the bus is not idle. It is used by when the master wishes to start a new communication but does not wish to let the bus go idle with the stop condition. Then the master receives sends the address of the slave transmitter again and stores the data returned by the send analogy to terminate the transfer. And then master receives stop the bus. Yes. And there you have it. Now open packet to select pick 18 family. Let's choose pick. 4520 where it is where it is 4520 there we have it check communication and now prepare your hardware and let's open the file that will be burned to the ship fine now let's push let's Click the right button and let's see one, two, three, and now and there you have it. Everything worked fine. See that we read the EEPROM and write to the port B. Three LEDs are on alternate patterns just as we expected. Please look more closely at the port B. Now let's see step by step the lab. Please open your browser and point it to Jangotronic. You'll find the link below. The first step. You can consider to check my post about USB logic analyze how to set it up. The second step, 
is just copy and paste this code to your micro C profile pic IDE. Fine. The third step, you need to connect two channel and the ground to your development board. The fourth step, open the Silae app by click to this icon right here. As our USB cable are connected and the driver is installed, it connects automatically. See? Okay, this is for the channel configuration. And right here, choose I2C protocol. This window will open. Now choose the channel for SDA data and SCL clock. I will put SDA on channel 1 and SCL on channel 0. Now click save to close the window and configure it all. Fine. Now we are almost there. Click right. Let's see what else we need to do is to click right here and choose speed sample rate to 60 millisample by second for one second. Fine. Now we are ready to go. Confirm. Now let's click start button. Prepare your hardware. Click on the yes sampling and let's see if it said yes to package. Two of them right in the finish line. See each are aparted by 100 millisecond. Yes. Let's see the code. This is, there you have it. Let's now zoom it and brings the bit. And there we have it. Now rearrange it all like these hide other channels. Clicking it right here. Okay, let's rearrange it. You can move it. The clock is will be below. It's better. Oops, I have lost my way. Oh, again, again. Oh, two package. Okay. With time, you get use it to it. Okay. Good. Now it's good. Now let's. The first frame is the writing to slave on the I2C bus. The master will send a start condition right here. Here is the start condition, okay. This is the start condition, right. When the bus is pulled to down and the clock is high, is the start condition. Here is 8 bit, 8 bit that follows, okay. This bit is a number, let's see, okay, X decimal notation, A2. A2 is the address of the slave plus uh, the last bit, zero. Here is the last bit at zero, indicating that it wants to write mode. Okay, it wants to write. It wants to write where? It wants to write in the EPROM on the address 0, 2. And here is the 0, 2. 8 bit indicating to the slave that the master wants to write the bytes on this EPROM location. Okay. This is two decimal. Let's continue. And the last, the last packet is another 
Eight bit is AA. A. What it means? AA. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight bit plus an acknowledged by the and eight bit signifies. Let's see. AA is one zero four times is the pairs that the LED show in the the beginning beginning of this. Okay, let's see the second frame. Reading from the slave is very similar to writing, but with some extra step. In order to read from the slave, the master must first instruct the slave which register it wishes to read from. Here is the package. We have the start condition, the similar start condition right here, a, a, a dot, green dot, when the bus is pulled down, and then what follows is 8 bit. And the last one is this one is in zero, okay? Okay, it wants to write again to locate this, this slave. This is the address of the slave, and then this, and then this is the 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 that the slave the the master want to after the restart condition the master write the slave again and the last bit this one is set to one indicating that the master want to read from the slave okay and then the slave sends the acknowledge again. And what follows is 8 bit that the master expected. During this part of the transition, the master will become the master receiver. And the slave will become the slave transmitter. Here is the 8 byte that we expected. AA that is again 104 times and this is the no acknowledge and the bus is released and the master will follow up with the stop condition and that's it thanks a lot this is your host j3 we're talking about interfacing eprom with big microcontroller please visit my webpage jungletronic at medium.com subscribe especially for you i hope you have a great day take care bye